This is Chapter 7, Lesson 5, Similar Triangles and in Indirect Measurement. Let's go to page 115 in our notes. And our first vocabulary word is called angle-angle similarity. What this states is that if two angles of one triangle are congruent, the same as two angles of another triangle, the triangles have to be similar. So if you think about this, it makes sense because if two angles of one triangle are the same as two as the other, well then the third has to be the same too. Because if you have only three angles at 180 degrees, two are the same, two are the same, the third has to also be the same. So here is an example. We're asking if these triangles are similar. Well, I can see that angle H is 100 degrees and angle L is 100 degrees, but that's only one angle. Where is my second angle that's congruent? Angle K. We cannot say just angle K, but we can say angle HKJ and we could say angle LKM. And I know that these are congruent because they are vertical. Remember, vertical angles are across from each other. So are they similar? Yes, they are similar. And here is the symbol for similar. And you must label this, remember, so that it matches. So H is the first letter, that's 100 degrees. L is the first letter that's also 100 degrees. Remember, they have to be corresponding. So they are similar because angle H and angle L are both 100 degrees, and we said angle HKJ is also congruent to angle LKM. Remember, vertical angles. And remember, you cannot just say angle K because we don't know where it is. So let's move on. Here is an example, and we actually have two triangles here. We have triangles ABE and triangles ACD. So we want to find X. I know that these triangles are similar because they have two angles that are congruent. First angle that's congruent is angle A you'll see that in each triangle, they share angle A, so they must be congruent. It's the same exact thing. Second, if this is 90 degrees on this side, it has to be 90 degrees on this side, and therefore, this angle here, angle AEB and angle ADC, these are both 90 degrees. So if two angles are congruent, the triangles are congruent. So same thing here. Angle A's are the same, and these angles here are right angles. So if the figures are similar, the side lengths are proportional. The figures are similar, the side lengths are proportional. I can write this proportion here. The side length over the side length, so that's the side length of the bigger triangle over the side length of the smaller triangle, is equal to the slant of the bigger triangle over the slant of the smaller triangle. And I know that's the measurement because I can just add. We would cross multiply and solve the equation, and I can find that x is 60 0.25 meters.